Tipp zu der Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, great news, it's Monday, it's January 15th, 2018, I'm Sean Platt! I'm Bill Grainer. I'm Sean Bouchard. Welcome to Mostly Walking, the greatest show on the internet. All other shows are at best silver medalists. So, uh, I'm in a good mood today. I, uh, oh by the way, this shirt is just fantastic. Oh Jesus Christ, yes. yes. And I don't know if you know can can see, but the letter in each of the hat is a K. Like I don't even understand. <laughs> the, uh, it's Kario or Kuiji, but um, Kuiji, Kuiji, Kuiji. <laughs> mm. And so today we are continuing our playthrough of Lorbo Two in the Dagger of Amon Ra. And coming up, we have one of the most difficult things, um, most difficult tasks for anyone who plays games on the internet, which is we have to remember what npcs say oh boy this is an important part and remember what they say but really hard yeah until that point in time dude bill how the hell are you how was your week man good i'm doing well i uh let's see i've been doing a lot of um uh so i I took some inspiration from somebody and i learned the fine art of going out on your own going out on a solo date just taking yourself out for a date you know what i did Mm -hmm. i didn't have any plans on friday so at 4 p.m., I was like, I'm going to see what's playing at the Castro Theater. And you know what it was? What was it? It was a, it was a, double, it was a, it was a double feature. Note that the other thing I like to do now is if there's a double feature and I don't feel like watching two movies, I'll just buy the ticket anyways and pretend it's a single feature because it's the same price. Right. Well, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. So what I, yeah. So what I didn't see, what I didn't see was uh, the original Blade Runner. What I did see was in the theater Blade Runner twenty forty nine. I have not seen Blade Runner twenty forty nine. It's so it's not a perfect movie. <laughs> it's not a perfect movie, but it is a masterpiece. It's a okay. masterpiece for right, what right. it does. It does incredibly well. Um, yeah, and it was. It's one of those things where it's like. Like, as far as, you know, slow, uh, methodical, um, atmospheric sci-fi world building, it's like, that's all you could ask for. Like, if that's what you want, there you go. Yeah. And you need to watch it in a place with really good audio. But it's, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The audio is really bad. And so you need to compensate for that. The music is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I agree with everything Bill said. I, I didn't like it that much, and I didn't enjoy myself um, when I went and, and, and saw it. But it was it's, like, unbelievably well done for what it is. It's just not my kind of movie. I'm, I need things to be a little pulpier. I need some uh, more action in my shit. I need some more any plot at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like, listen. Is that, if, is that an issue? Is that if you, a problem if, if you have 14 vignettes in a row that create some consistent emotions... <laughs> You failed me. I want to know who's yeah. the bad guy. I want clues. Is, I want moments of romance together. I want fucking forward movement, man. It is It is definitely a... It is an art gallery of a film, is what it is. Yeah! That's, yeah. Um, I, hmm. wish, I wish that we could talk... It would... There is, Look, in, in Snape years, kills Dumbledore. Can we just start with that? <laughs> like, in a few years, <laughs> when, when spoiler uh, limit has been reached um, on various movies that are out right now, I have some very fascinating theories about screenwriting in 2017. Um, but there's no way to even embark on that theory without spoilering everything. Well, I mean, Screen, like, like screenwriting in the political cultural climate that is 2017 or yeah, like okay. some things that that some things that movies are doing that are subversive and that is actually quite um a trend i think very trendy uh but yeah i don't know we're gonna have to have a second stream called mostly talking mostly spoilers Mo- yeah. movie talk movie 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 talk. Movie talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie like, talk with listen, three dudes. Sean, I fund I fundamentally trust your ability to name things because you, Sean Bouchard was the person who proposed the name for this show, mostly walking. I wanted to call it Old Shitty Adventure, which, which, which I think neither of you liked. You weren't even amused. You're like, 
No, no, no. Ultra, no, no, Ultra <laughs> Adventure is really good. It's really good. I'm pretty sure I gave you what I have since I moved in with somebody who now like knows me intimately. I've learned that I have like a uh, a courtesy laugh. <laughs> Courtesy laugh. That courtesy laugh is the kind of thing that helps that allows people to coexist. Yeah. A courtesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that's a great phrase. It's a courtesy laugh. Yeah. 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 No, I, mean, I know a courtesy laugh. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where you're just you're just bridging silence. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah. 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 That's that's awesome. Wait, Sean, how how have you been? How was your week before we go on this old shitty adventure here? Good, good. My week's been good. Um, last week was the first week of classes, which uh, went really well, I think. Uh, Saturday was um, cardboard camp, which I fucking love every time I get to do that. Um, played a bunch of really good in-progress board games. Um, oh, it's a board game thing. Okay. Yeah, You're... yeah, yeah. So Asher and Jesse and um, this guy Greg who works at Riot and I do a like every six weeks or so uh, like a meetup in LA for, for people who are working on non-digital games. It's basically uh, a, it's basically an unprotected orgy of intellectual property, isn't it? I mean... Yep, 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 yep. yep anyone yep. come out of there not knowing yeah. who owns no, what. Exactly, that's how we do it. That's good. That's good. Uh, but it's fun. <laughs> Asher had a couple of really good games and played a couple of other really good games. Well, um, Asher had a couple of good games. Gee. Uh, well, Asher had Stop one good game. Asher had one good game and one really good idea. Uh, <laughs> that was not yet a good game, but okay. So he's. He's, he is also so human. He's, he's, he's so that also makes him human. relatable. That makes him relatable. Exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. So that means we can kill him. Up. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that... It means I don't have to come up with a reason to hate Asher before yeah, next time right. I see him. Yeah. Yeah. I can just keep liking him. I would have had to really figure out how to hate that <laughs> man. So, yeah, because... Uh, yeah. He's... Well, you know, then, you, here's, here's a shitty thing about Asher Volmer, okay? Yeah, he, he's, he's great to work with. He's an extraordinary but, talented game designer and uh, game creator. However, However, if you grew up the way I grew up, you think that like all people are good at some things and not good at other things, right? Like maybe if you're not good at sports, you're good at homework. You know, right, there's yeah. the balance of life. Asher is actually just a great roommate. He like cleans stuff up all the time. Man, fuck that guy. And never makes noise. Like, I, where's the weakness? I know. No, exactly. What? No, uh, somewhere out there, Sean, I, I, this has led to me. I hope he just can't figure out, like, mail. It just baffles me. He doesn't even know. He's, he's like, licking the wrong there. sides. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's like a mail. Mr. Glass, who is just, like, a bad game designer and a terrible roommate and really not at all put together and just, wait, like, a wait, thing to be around. About? Like, there's got to be somebody out there to balance him out. Oh, like a you're, twin, a secret twin who lives in the attic. Yeah. That was a, yeah. That was oh, a my God. Life. Anti-Volmer. Yeah. Anti-Volmer. No, I yeah. think anti-Volmer, actually, is just someone who makes cookies and serves them to you. <laughs> and then that makes Asher even better by association. By association, yeah. Anyways. Okay. Um... I'm I'm just going in, man. You guys had good weeks. We got some cardboard camps. Yeah. Can I and, can I, I just can I just say one thing that I see in yeah. the chat? A underscore vicious underscore vegan says, "I'm a, this is amazing. I'm watching mostly walking on a plane for free. So we're oh in the Mile High God. Club. Yeah. Sponsored by Delta? Is that? Oh, no. Well, the thing is that a vicious vegan couldn't eat any of the food that was served on the plane, so a vicious vegan had to tune in as a Twitch to get, at least get some nourishment. That's right, nourishment. Yeah. So, I, I just I thought of a good joke. Oh, Sorry, oh, I'm, I'm front loading. She's okay. some um, dish, ain't she? <laughs> Wait, yeah, what the fuck those is happening French here? Really have something? I don't think my wife would ever have done it in a mummy cage. Yeah, in my vast experience of women from different lands, I tend to agree with you, Mr. Nigeria. I balked when a certain French woman suggested we have a we deep conversation on the back of a dinosaur, but I was pleasantly surprised by the results. 
Yes, Wait, no, I literally Mr. Don't Lacroix don't is certainly the cat's pajamas, as the Americans would say. Uh -huh. Americans. Yeah, we does come up with some good sayings, don't we? Quite. They should cut their losses Lord, and become a barbershop quartet. Please excuse us, Miss Bow. Oh, I wasn't actually listening to you gentlemen, Dr. Carrington. <laughs> I just I happened to be conspicuously listening to you. Excuse me. She just has the wor world's weirdest ear. Um, Yerbal right. TV says the drinking word should be anytime someone teaches you something about the 1920s. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and listen, I'm not drinking tonight because I actually have been going to bed early and getting up early and like yeah, exercising and shit. It's it's in ways good, but like I'm starting this show tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah like i just ate dinner like my body's like starting to relax and i can feel it and i have some wholesome water here sean what's that you're drinking there uh i got listen i'm drinking constantly tonight i have uh <laughs> i've got some jameson irish whiskey and some Jeez. jack daniels tennessee honey so i'm gonna be just kind of like going back <laughs> it's just gonna be you're dual wield and you're like <laughs> I, got, I got i got one of each no! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Mamma mia! <laughs> no, it's uh, that's uh, this is mixed with ginger ale and root beer, respectively. Oh, okay. But, uh, oh, I'm, I was hoping that one was half Jameson, half Jack Daniels, and the other was <laughs> half da Jack Daniels, half Jameson. So it's a drink I invented. It's it's a one part bourbon and one part whiskey and one part rye. It's called the for whisk guy. <laughs> I call this There's particular one a Jackmason. The Jackmason. I like to go up to a bartender and be go and be like, give me a for whisk guy, and they're like, I don't know what that is, and I'm like, well, let me tell you. <laughs> that guy. I have I have a friend who. Um, Oh, God, I'm not going to be able to do it justice because I don't remember what he actually orders. But when he is in a good mood and he's, he finds a bartender who is also in a good mood, he will order something like uh, a vampire smile. Uh, What's a vampire and, smile? Uh, whatever you think it is. It's a, like, it's a leave it up sort of thing. <laughs> awesome. Really? Are, are there other weird things? Like, <laughs> animal style. Can, can, can you give me the give me the fear of a whale? <laughs> can you oh, give me that? Um, Sean, uh, what's your favorite yeah. street drug? Mine is uh, mine is when you get a, a, a the um, the salt salted worms. That's my oh, because I was drug. I was just gonna say them. cocaine. Like I didn't realize. Like what? No, like yeah, like what's I'm thinking fat fancy here. Oh, oh, like like. You can't tell if this is a street drug, a um, dinosaur, or a Pokemon. Like one of those sort of names. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like uh, maybe a. You want some. Um, some plated wench. Some plated wench, yeah. I was thinking like some mackerel dash. Some. <laughs> some duck whimsy. Game audio is a bit loud. No, duck I'm feeling you right there. Ducks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah let, me, let me let me turn this down just a bit because this this game does not have compression. Oh. Ryan, I'm having the Ooh. hardest of times keeping my hands off you. Oh, look at that guy! Not here, Yvette. There's too many people. His yeah, eyes turned to you. You are the most powerful man here, my Ryan. Uh, what about that Carrington guy? He's president of this museum. The doctor, he is old and weak. You are the young one. And strong. And what would you be wanting, Miss Bo? Oh, well, I thought I heard you call my name. You must have been hearing things. It's still not an excuse. I didn't even mention your name. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got to be going now. Excuse me. She literally looks like the Statue of Liberty. That is such and a what were you doing when that fancy dagger was being stolen then? <laughs> Let me see. Hmm. I hmm. was sleeping in my hotel room. You don't sound too sure about that. I haven't been sleeping too well. That guy's long. got a real pants tent. I'm tired, so I'm not thinking too well. Everybody's You're wearing latex well. suits. Would you be having a guilty conscience then? 
I, I, Bill, no, you've got me examining their everybody. crotches like Sorry. really <laughs> carefully. <laughs> it's it is such a curious language. Not I'm not sure yeah. that this art adds up to what I want it to. Well, uh, you say the dagger is what brought you to this country. <laughs> if I were in your position, I'd be tempted to steal. I mean, steal? What is already? The guy in the middle stolen? of the screen is very like Tom of Finland Roth casual. Belongs to the Egyptian people, Mr. O'Reilly, not to Doctor Carter. Not to this museum, and Does not to this die? country. Do you think he dyes his hair or his I'd mustache? be watching what you're saying, Dr. Both. Smith. You're digging your hole deeper with every word. Amon Ra will seek his own vengeance on those who have removed his dagger from Egypt. Amon Ra does not require my help. You say you were sleeping when it was stolen. Were you alone? That, sir, is none of your business. Damn. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Dr. Smith. It, it actually looks like an uncooked turkey is in the pants of the guy on the right. Like, I, I'm trying to understand this shape. Do you I Americans know, right? have no it's, shame? It's extremely, I'm here to gain um, the return of the dagger by legal means. Ask it's like he's smuggling a fanny pack. I <laughs> yes, to to Dr. that's Carrington. what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. No, happening. no dice. <laughs> the method is not settled until the last Could it be a catheter? The water of the Maybe it's a catheter. It's a stadium pal. It's like nobody Some wants to mention it. Some kind of Egyptian to double talk? It. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. But I see a turkey leg on the buffet table. That are we supposed to be listening to these guys? Yeah, we really yeah, are. Yeah, intensely. Shit. Okay, so basically, uh, the, this the, the police chief was asking about, like, where were you the night the dagger was stolen? And he was like, I'm here to try to get it back by legal means and... I won't tell you if I was with someone at the time when it was being stolen. I so, that's like, I, so I have a question. Yeah. Is, is Amun Ra like the god of an extant religion anywhere in the world? Um, it wasn't he the bad guy in Thundercats? Yes. No, that was that was Shira. She uh, I, maybe it no, was. Shira was one of the good guys. I, I think Amun Ra like, was uh, the name of Tassadar when he turned into a dragoon. I think. Like I don't not going to say for sure, but I would be willing to bet a lot of money on that. Uh, I, I have no idea, Sean. Who's know. Tassadar and what's a dragoon? <laughs> is Tassadar. that from Wing Commander? Is that from? Is that from Commander Keen? Is that? From... That's right. My favorite uh, lore is Commander Keen. Actually, I reference it all the time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I gotta. Commander Keen has been found dead hey, in my hand. Sean, any? I I know that you sort of like rejected this once, but um, what do you think about subtitles? Like subtitles? Like, as in, do, do you want to put them on, or like, what yeah. do I think about them? Let's, what do you I think about them in this particular instance? I like think in the context that of this game right now, almost universally, I want subtitles on, but the dialogue is just so ridiculous in this game. I like okay. to wait for them to say it before I read it. All right, gotcha. Okay. It's my vote. You ask yourself if you can handle the task set before you, then. And then you give an unusually long answer, wasting a lot of time. <laughs> Oh, I can ask about anyone in the. Oh, Jesus Christ! In the whole fucking world. Uh, Doctor Tutsmith. Wolf Heimlich. Uh, a delightful girl. I keep asking her if she'd like to be my second wife. She is so very feminine and seductive. Imminent? And charming, and attractive, and. Okay. Okay. I get the idea. All right. You should try to be more like Yvette. Men would like you more that way. Men <laughs> like me just fine the way I am. That's what you think. I Ooh. find you quite annoying. This guy. Fuck! <laughs> At a this party? Guy. Really? I find you quite annoying? Mm -hmm. That is so tactless. It is tactless. I believe he's investigating the burglary of the dagger of Amon Ra. Perhaps if he'd stop drinking, he might have a chance at finding it. Who is this guy? Oh shit. You know, that's why they call it being attacked, is because there's no tact. I'm gonna ask everyone about um, that. That trollop sleeps with everything that moves, and some things that don't. 
Whoa. It's only by sheer strength of will that I've resisted her advances so far. Which trauma can we still hand out? I'm gonna ask about the water glass. It's a water glass. Just the thing if you require a drinking receptacle that holds liquids. <laughs> or Dude, I love inexplicably eavesdrop on people you're standing right next to. Let's ask about the magnifying glass. Don't bother me with such silly questions. <laughs> However, I will answer your inquiries about water. Pathfinder and Victus in chat refer to him as Shitty Snape. Yeah. Quite so. If I uh, ever find out who stole my dagger of Amun Ra, they won't live to regret it, I can assure you. Oh, That's a man. threat. That's a murder threat. That's a fucking hell of a threat. Such a thing? Jesus. I He's have gonna my suspicions, but I need more proof at them. before I subject him to the full force of my wrath. Uh, subject him! Jesus. Have the Damn. police learned anything? Those incompetence. Hardly. They couldn't even find any clues around the dagger display. Sounds like the burglar might have been a professional. Perhaps. It's more likely the local constable couldn't find a clue if it jumped up and bit him on the bum. A raging yeah. clue. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm just gonna keep eavesdropping on people. <laughs> la 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 la! I'm Laura Boo! Ah! <laughs> oh, my Statue of Liberty! To the justice! Went to the dentist today. <laughs> I went to the dentist today and it was it was comically painful. If you want to know my <laughs> yeah. theory about yeah. it, I think it was stolen by an Egyptian. No offense to your people, Mr. Najir, but I think there is a secret. Why does she have Egyptian serpent eyes? Who have sent an He's in the James Bond pose. Yeah, why Countess, is he, hardly is he Matt like Smith and old person makeup? Like you're describing yes. have existed in hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Oh, really? Why does he have robot eyes? Well, I think eyes get real weird real quick. I'm expressing real real my quick. opinion, madam. I'm certainly not an expert on the subject. Quite but sir, why does your left I leg sort of merge into your right leg? anyone's darling. <laughs> And I heard it from a reliable source. <laughs> oh? I mean, the only way that I can make sense of that is that his Never mind. hips Let's are just angled say my like 30 degrees wrong away before. from his body. It's true. Hmm. My and entire suit is inflatable, madame. Countess, I still just, find your theory far-fetched. He's holding an, a, a, a sustained thrust in Laura Bo's direction. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> a sustained thrust. Oh, I definitely think it's worth considering, Countess. This is not then, just a black tie event, this is a black idea, bola tie event. Takes me seriously. Hmm. It looks like he's holding a pair of those of rounded scissors for children. Kind of <laughs> well, I never they just got back me. from a kinky Colonel Sanders oh, convention. Did I say something wrong? I'm sorry. <sighs> So oh. that's the deal, Countess. Jesus. I'd rather not talk about it right now. Yeah, no kidding. DeWall's got ears around here. And so does certain nosy reporters, if you know what I mean. Yes, now if you'll Something excuse me, I simply must to speak to Dr. Carrington. Sure thing, toots. Toots. What a right, one more time. No, this way. Oh, see, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to just ask everyone about everything in this game because there's a surprising amount of dialogue recorded. But I'm gonna keep following Iggy around because oh, this is when I'm trying to get laid. Oh, well, ain't you the hoity-toity dame these days? <laughs> Jesus I Christ! I recognize you with your clothes on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Excuse me, am I what? knowing you so? Ziggy's my moniker. You gonna pretend you just doesn't know me? Ah, <laughs> uh, you are making the joke with me, no? Perhaps you have confused me with someone else? I ain't joking! You're a bit delacra! <laughs> I, I, I know that body of yours anywhere! I am sure I am not Look knowing at the what body you mean, Monsieur Zilli. 
style. Oh, I get it. Who's this <laughs> She's... one of these high hats is gonna hear us, right? Oh, She's very practiced included. at her we can complete talk stare away. <laughs> All right, ripping so... their drink. <laughs> All right, so that was gross. Are you enjoying the culinary delights this evening, Miss Delacroix? This food, it is adequate. I do not eat so much. This way I maintain my figure, no? Ah, yes. Uh, and a lovely figure it is, Miss Delacroix. <laughs> yes, <laughs> see, Dr. Carrington. You are so kind. I feel we've known each other long enough. Please call me Archibald. <laughs> I will as never you call you Archibald. 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 I am yours to command, as always. Jesus Christ. Oh, Miss Bo, is there something I can do for you? Oh, no. Busted. I was just <laughs> admiring Miss Delacroix's dress. Merci, Miss Bo. And your gown, it is a bit out of date, but oh. charming nonetheless. Those Thank shoes you. look very comfortable, uh, Miss Bo. Well, if you ladies will excuse me, I must meddle yes. with the guests. They definitely will. Is All right. Laura Bo, Bo well, like, well, look what sorry, the Rachel dragged in. Hey, now watch what you just calls me, alrighty. Is she much taller than everybody else? Or is she standing on I don't like, 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 like the sound stuff. of it. I think I'm sure you've been called worse things, the smart guy. Mise en scène Only of this conversation is alrighty. the weirdest configuration the way, of bodies I've ever seen. Did you afraid of being seen with me? Cops <laughs> talk to stoolies all the time, and I was wondering what you're doing here. I'm a big patron of the arts. That's the kind of high-class guy I am. You don't even know what the word patron means. I does too. Okay, what does patron mean? Here comes a joke. Um, hey, ain't that the Countess I see over there? Oh, it's, the well, it's a her. banger. He doesn't know what patron means. That's a funny. He's been caught! <laughs> All right, so I assume we go right and left and right and left until we are out of conversations, so, man. We're gonna drain this entire uh, this way, Laura. We're gonna we're gonna guzzle it. What about the woman in blue up there? We talked. Uh, Sean, I want to take in every inch of these conversations. Hi, you're having such a good time. I thought I'd introduce myself. I'm Laura Bow of the New Orleans Bows. <laughs> the fanatically happy snobs just ignore you entirely. They're having so much fun, you're they sure they're putting the on an act to impress their friends. Um, so people in chat, people in chat are talking about whether the creepy guy sounds like the dude from, like, Ren from Ren and Stimpy, or Igor's, or Igor, the assistant of Frankenstein. I'm gonna say this, Sean Bouchard. He's the dude who's in like Casablanca and all those old movies, right? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Guy's like, name? Um, really? No, I know who you're talking about. He shows up in Quest for Glory Four, I think. Laura um, Bow to voice um, actors. No, 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 not not the voice actor no, 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 himself. No, no, no. I mean, the impression, uh, the impression that he's the impression. Doing. There was that that character was also in uh, Grim Fandango. He. He's just like, hey, Manny, I have something to tell yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I heard that Ren and Stimpy, Ren's voice was based on that guy, and Stimpy's voice was based on Larry from the Three Stooges. Well, it's, it's, like, the, it's the dirty it's rat like, voice. Gee, Ren, what are we going to do today? <laughs> I, I don't know, Stimpy. Eh. Oh, boy. Like, yeah. Peter Lore. One thing Peter I'm Lore. admiring about the Egyptian man is the way he uh, is Peter treating Lurie, his maybe? woman with the strong oh, hand yeah, and the firm words. He's got the most amazing eyes. Words. Well, that is the proper way as our culture teacheth us. Which is not to say our culture is primitive by any means. Our civilization has evolved over thousands of years, so our methods are quite well thought out and practical. Mmm, and the Egyptian man. He is very mm. skilled in the private matters as well, no? Jesus Christ. Well, uh, speaking for myself, I feel it is my sacred duty to be knowledgeable in all matters that concern me. I have certainly had no complaints about my skills, Mr. Delacroix. Jesus. Ah, Miss Poe, I didn't see you standing there. Tower. Uh -huh. 
Wait, I, I hear another turkey leg calling my name at the buffet table. Uh, okay, so, so excuse me. The turkey I leg. It sounds good to me also. I like company, you Doctor Smith. He's gotta like hold it in place. No, I think he's holding it. I think it wasn't curly enough, so now he there's too curly, so he's straightening it and he's holding it. He's there. gotta hold it out, yeah. like he sprayed something on it, and now he's gotta hold yeah. it for 15 minutes. Exactly. Yeah, That's no, he's he's waiting for the stash to dry. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. All right, I got. I'm gonna walk behind him again. This way, Laura. Bill, the um, the character in Quest for Glory Four, who is uh, voiced in the style of Peter Lorre, is named Lori Petrovich. Just as mm. a, just as a like confirmation. I guess. Yeah. Countess, uh, they tell me you are married Delta to the last said, museum president, no? Chowchilla Charlie from Yes, Grand darling, Vendera. that's correct. Okay. Look at that. Waldorf Carlton was that woman is a charming wearing man, and so wealthy. Like My heart is just an empty void without him. Yes, Sterling was such a nice man. It's too bad that he's worm food now. Worm food. I prefer to think that Sterling is still with me in spirit. Oh, I'm sure his body is crawling with maggots <laughs> by now. What if his spirit is? Get her! The grandmother, the grandmother from Anne of Green Gables? Is that who that is? It is hard to lose a loved one, no? I understand you were only married this short time, Countess. Yes, I had only two short the charming months of married life with Sterling before he died. Oh, maybe she murdered and Sterling. How long had you known this man before you were married? Oh, we met just what one charming Bill? month before we decided to get married. <laughs> what happened to Bill? At first sight. Can you still hear me? Where yeah. did you meet you. him? Whoa. Oh, I had only been in this Sean, country a few Sean, what do you advise I, I do? On an One sec, we have this ship. nonsense It's quite thing. legal I mean, to drink listen and gamble to you real fast. there, you know, and all the right people attend. Sterling was so charming, he just swept me off my feet. <gasps> this Sterling, he must have had the large broom. Jeez, large just rice. a of speech, my dear. Sterling was a wealthy man. You must have inherited a nice fortune, Countess. The money doesn't matter, darling. Actually, there's an annoying problem with the estate right now. Oh. It seems Sterling was changing his will when he died to give me more money, perhaps. Anyway, I'm sure my attorney will take care of the problem. Too bad you can't dig him up to finish his new will. Yes, quite. Okay. We're really starting right. to drain around like a necrophilia joke here, considering also that he, earlier the guy's like, she slept with everything that moves and some things that don't. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I thought that was like a sex toy joke. Oh, oh I was confident it was a necrophilia joke. I, oh. God, Sean, you are good at names and identifying when jokes are not <laughs> necrophilia. <laughs> Um, Bill, if you want to just turn your camera off and turn it back on again, or if you want to be sure. that expression for the rest of your life. I mean, I mean that, it's very good and kind of in keeping with the Laura Bow thing. So. Yeah, either way. Alright, I'm going to keep wandering behind people. The archaeology, it is such a masculine profession. <laughs> Breaking into the ancient tombs with your sledgehammer. Thrusting your way into the treasure chambers. Yeah. Touching the gold artifacts. It is also stimulating, no? Well, yes. Well, when you put it that way, I guess it is rather stimulating being the most important archaeologist of all time. And it is such a burden to bear this greatness, no? With such pressure to perform, you must be perfect all the time. Yes. What is going on? She's... Understanding of my problem. I feel like she's the only person around here who Are actually, your like... they are obvious, no? Ha has Very control in this room. to say that, but there are many yeah, no, who misinterpret my true. actions. They don't understand the pressure of having famous relatives in the same line of work and having to compare oneself to them all the time. <laughs> or a swap just says, ah, get it, girl. It's a uncommon find. It is nothing <laughs> compared to your discovery, no? Correct. 
I didn't realize you knew so much about archaeology. I know many things, Dr. Carter. So I've heard. Maybe we should discuss archaeology sometime. I'd love to hear about the work you do, Dr. Carter. Perhaps later tonight? I'd love to unearth your you tomb! Late tonight. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. I think everyone will be here tonight, no? There is much to be done to prepare for the opening of your exhibit tomorrow. I was planning a break for tea around 3 a.m. if you'd like to join me. It sounds wonderful. 3 a.m.? Would you come by my office then? <sighs> I'd be Good delighted. thing we're listening to all of this. It is so gracious of you to take the time to speak with me. No, I feel like they're going to be like mid coitus and like meanwhile Laura Bo is just going to be like... I will never repay you for this courtesy. I know how busy you are, Dr. Carter. I clearly hmm. know you won. I'm hmm. sure we'll think of something. <laughs> and call me Pippin. Oh, what? Pippin? His name's Pippin. Oh my god, he's we got a we got a Pippin in here. We got a big badass named Pippin, dude. I you know okay so wow. so I like uh, I'm sure as you guys know that the the ratio of men to women in gaming is heavily skewed towards men, and so you know a lot of girls in the social settings have this unnecessary pressure because like there's. Ten guys in the room for every one girl, and those guys just swarm in there. And I, I've seen this interaction like my whole life, right? Yeah. But I want to know the other extremely upscale versions of that. Like, is this what archaeology is oh, like? Is is like archaeology? Is it like ten male archaeologists and one female archaeologist, and they're all trying to out archaeologize each other and shit? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yes, yes, that's exactly what that is. I'm going to say um, that is, that's what happens every day. And do, you think, do you think the conversations are exactly like this? I think so. I'd assume it is. I mean, this seems to be well researched. They've already convinced me that we are in the 1920s. There's already a mustache um, guy okay. named Pif Pippin, so, you know. Yeah. Yes, yep. I once went to uh, Michael's, uh, the that that craft store, yeah. and uh, I left feeling really good about myself. I was I was the star of the show. I was the belle of the ball in there. I mean, in what way? Well, it was just I went in there because I was in I was in grad school, so I had to get some stuff. So I went into Michael's at like 2 p.m. on a weeknight weekday, and it was just all. It was just all moms, and as soon as oh, I walked in, oh, dude, yeah, moms love event. Bell. I was an event. I was an event. I have, oh, I've got two comments. Speedy. I have a, I have a, a contribution and also a refutation. One of, or not a refutation, but like uh, a Tutan comment. I'm, su I'm surprised. <laughs> I guess a surprise. <laughs> Because I go into Michael's like all the fucking time. Is that not normal? I guess maybe that's not normal. I Are feel you like not I'm watching the signs? Time. Do you know? Do you know the signs? Well, do I know the signs? The signs? No, I don't. No, I mean I just go into the Michaels. The M Night Shyamalan movie? I do. I'm very familiar with it. Uh, maybe you're just not noticing these things. Wait. So like, was, no, 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 was no, is there a time of day to the? That's not a refuge. <laughs> I like that you both just started talking. It's just a... I'm reacting so, with surprise to your uh, your setup of the story that, like, once you went into a mic. So, uh, okay. No, I mean, it, it depends on the time of day, honestly. Okay. But uh, the other thing I'll say is this. Um, the last... Last or second to last year of our program... Yeah, last year of our program, I said to Logan one time, I was like... Logan, I think I finally have figured out how to know, how to identify it when women are interested in me. And to which he said, okay. maybe they just haven't been interested in you before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Logan! Logan! <laughs> grad school and just hang out with Logan more. That's good. We should, we should re-grad school. Instead of there being like a grad school... Um, what are those <laughs> called? Reuniting ceremonies? <laughs> Reunions, some there it sort is. Of, some sort of... <laughs> I, I yeah, know it wasn't reunition. Reunion. Not a reunition. Um...
We call it but, Vistangos. Yeah, we should just go back to grad school oh, for three yes. more years. Vistangos has been gentrified into like giant condos by now, hasn't no, it? No, it looks exactly the same. <sighs> is it still? Are the is still, still the brand? Still, do they still have like pepper shakers that are sticky? Uh, I don't know if I can verify that. The floor has butter on it. I'm certain that they do. I mean, do they still have farfalle pesto? Yes, they absolutely do, and they've got a big picture of it up on the on the wall. Nice. Remember, remember when we used to have at seminar? They would very rarely they would cater it with fistangos, and it was just a bucket full of farfalle. Oh yeah, that I was the best. I don't remember that. I remember. And I the feel dry like bread. Sh- oh. Sean, you and I <laughs> went to Vestangos a lot before seminar and got that for follow up pesto. Yeah, I gained a lot of weight because it was just like yeah. cream and yeah. pasta is good. I just so, remember those like the the catering buckets. It was just a bucket full of that stuff. I told you to stop bothering me, you camel driver. <laughs> Doctor Gorky. I will stop bothering you when the dagger is safely back in Cairo. Oh, I thought Camel Driver was I don't just know like if a... you've noticed. It's racist. The it's a racial dagger source. has been yeah. stolen okay. from the bloody just museum, be... you great it's... twit. It's really um, no something to... to... We're in Egypt right now, right? I we're am in aware Egypt, of the burglary. Right? In... I am we're in New York, man. No evidence was left behind. Oh, right, yeah, we're in New York. And the so dagger okay. case was not harmed. Forgot. In fact, I think you removed the dagger from the exhibit. Because the dagger case wasn't me. Fine. Me? And what bloody <laughs> reason would I have to steal my own bloody dagger from my own bloody exhibit? Because then the you own it, not man! Yours, doctor. It belongs to the Egyptian people. Take that poison, and why dagger. you stole it, I do not pretend to understand your twisted American thinking. Perhaps you wanted to keep the dagger for yourself, in your own private collection. Perhaps I should ask why you're shifting the blame onto me, you insignificant peasant. Why are you gaslighting me? It would be very me? clever of you to steal the dagger, then stay about to start rumors about someone else stealing it. What in the fuck? Oh, yeah, They're getting deep. The thief would make such an accusation, Doctor. Now I'm sure that you stole it for yourself. I did not. Yes, you okay. did. Did not. Did not. Did too. Oh, did. God. Oh, Jesus. Did not. Did. Rabbit season. Gentlemen, please. Who asked you? I've been eavesdropping your on your conversation business, this you whole time. Reporter. But I... I have more important things to do. Our discussion is far from over, Dr. Carter. That's what you think, you malodorous buffoon. I like these. Malodorous. Things. Oh my god. <laughs> was, I, feel like, I, I feel like this isn't yeah. the first time I've heard malodorous. God. If I could be anybody at this party, I'd be the person in that fucking urn over there. Jesus. <laughs> uh. Alright, I want to keep listening in on drama, man. Everyone's... The exuberantly happy patron smiles at you and then doesn't react. Oh, all right Laura now. Laura Boat would later go on to become Queen Elizabeth. You're interested in the great art, no? Then you should come with me this evening. I'll give you the personal tour of the old master's gallery. How? Well, I... Oh, it's him. I guarantee you. I don't know how to respond. The guy from the... He's just a dock you worker, isn't he? Yeah. Like, well, I. So does she like to set up seven rendezvous a night? Is that how she gets? Like, is that like how well, she operates? Yes, but like it's just Netflix and she just like Netflix in 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 sweatpants for twenty nine days I... of a month and then. There is no need to thank me. Then one night it's just. I will be enjoying it as much Gets it all done. So that's efficient. Uh... It does seem efficient. Also, that guy's oh. sputtered responses could be an ASMR channel. Yeah, I, 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 I just want to listen to him talk. Cause for... You know, honestly, uh, Sean, that guy's voice sounds a lot like the soundtrack to Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Get 
Get to the to the left! Don't go around the table! Go! Go! <laughs> God, she wouldn't go. I hear caged, so much. Caged Tiger said she's like an airline. She has to double book in case some people back out at the last minute. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, she obviously is... She obviously it's, knows what she's doing, so, and yeah, she's yeah, good at what she efficiency. does, and she knows how to live her life, and... It's not about efficiency, it's about consistency. Yeah. Wait, do I gotta walk all the, sh the way all the over to here with this bullshit? Okay, so I'm... Laura Bow definitely has to practice high heels. Jesus. Go, go, go. This conversation. Have we have no. we been at this party for like we've been at this party for longer now than real time. Like we've been at we've been at this party screen for what, four hours, five hours? Yeah, it's a... yeah, 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 yeah. It's a is it is it a New Year's party? I think it's <laughs> the New Year's party. <laughs> Yeah, oh, man, fucking New Year's party is like, you need to bring three changes of clothes to that. It's true. Those have a, those have a three-act structure. Oh, God, I forgot that the gift shop is open during the party. It's That's like the most awkward thing. Very gauche. But it's not open. No one's operating. Well, no one's staffing you. You could staff it and just take the money. It's Dude. open for... It's open for, like, robbery. Yeah, open for robbery. In a way, isn't everywhere always open for robbery? Oh, this shit! A oh, for a line. A Nazi. The rest of the museum is off limits, and you are spooking their master dance. That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> oh, God. Why is King Tut leaning his chin on a giant boot? I do declare, I don't know. Wait, wait, what, what do we What do we do now? Leave. Is that? Eat the turkey legs and then leave. I can't go, 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 go. Like, if I do this, what happens? You leave. You just go. Yeah, you're done. Well, you've left it. An Irish goodbye. Irish goodbye. Jesus, you're back. You gonna talk to some food? <laughs> you don't mean just. Is there was silence supreme. Yeah, yeah. Interview the turkey, it was Laura. to know some of the questions than all of. The food and champagne look good. But you're trying to stay on a diet, so you make the wise decision to leave them alone. Weird. Oh, man. You hear Laura Bowes really internalized some shit, The buffet shit, huh? tables are heaped with food, <laughs> Oh, damn it, just walk. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go to the left. What if we leave? What if, what if we try that again? Leaving. We, yeah, we could leave and go somewhere else, but where would we go, Bill? I'm I'm scared. I don't know. Around town? You don't have an apartment? No, uh, no. We, we we went from a train station where all our shit was stolen straight to work at the trip. Yeah. We could sleep Ooh. in our cubicle. We could we could take the spot that that other homeless person was on and just curl up there and go to bed. And then maybe that's the mechanic that advances Back to the story. The for a line. So the rest of the museum is off limit. I like that there's a painting of a skeleton on the wall. Next to the skeletons, for sure. What if I have never my seen themselves here? represented you hear in art? Nothing of interest. The fuck? You hear no you hear you hear you hear Is that guy back there wearing a backwards baseball cap? I think so. Yes. Yeah, like a I'm red, going to hear. like a yeah. like a Cincinnati Reds cap. You hear? Yeah. You 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 you. What would you do? This is the counter where the counter counts the money. Oh my God! What a beautiful Art Deco rug. 
You almost it, hate to walk on it. Is that Art Deco? Is it? Yeah, that, that's Deco. Mm, nice weave. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Sean finds that 30% funnier than it is because he's like two Jack Daniels deep, man. Oh, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Okay, oh. so the, the painting directly behind the cash register, is that glitch art? Like, what is with Don't the touch it. You don't know where it's been. There it is! Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. Don't touch. Don't. Don't touch. Don't. Don't touch it. Don't touch. Don't. 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 Laura, you can't wait for some genius to make a song out of this. Yeah. Hey, is Morniel in chat? Is Morniel our amazing musician? Does Morniel have a younger brother named the low Neil? Level of excitement in the room. Many of these partygoers have attended hundreds of fundraising Wait. events, seeing hundreds the same of people, hundreds. eating the same food, Ooh. talking about the same things, and generally leading very dreary high society lives. Brutal. Who oh. is the tan robe at the bottom right? Did we talk to him? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's they're, they're, they're randomly one. generated. Look at this. So if I like go to here, and then I go yeah. back. Boom! Whoa. Woman in a pink dress. Whoa. Quick change. Okay. okay, so so I'm really looking for something to do. Like I don't know if we leave. beat the game. Maybe it's yeah, over. Here. We can't leave. There's no there's no taxi stand, Bill. We're trapped. We can't leave. Try again. Go out there. It's gonna be fine. I bet you need to get into the rest of the Good museum. Evening. You need to distract the Kaiser's man. Oh, okay, so, fuck. I mean, am I am I wrong, or do we still have the option to ask each person about the don't every that we've encountered so far? Well, we, we, we don't actually have anyone to talk to. These are all randomly generated people. There's none of the OG okay. party there. Uh, there's no, like, real people left. Would you go to the right, Laura? Oh, Christ! Okay, there we go. You'd like to reach out and... Can you climb on the statue? I, do, I don't. I actually. I literally like, don't even know. Knows. See if there's something up there. Like hold can't. the glass up to the statue and listen to the giant pharaoh breathe. We yeah. we, we can magnify stuff. We can magnify stuff. I hold mean, on. It's not gonna help you progress. Looking at a small you. portion of the big head really doesn't do justice to the immense size of the statue, but you can see that the bust was sculpted with extreme care. Almost what? as if the sculptor's life oh, depended on it. Oh my fucking fuck! Which shit. it did. Oh shit! Holy fuck! What, what happened? Oh what, shit! What is that? What does oh, that mean? Oh fuck! Guys, can you? Oh Seems god! Like I just blew up my everything. All right. We, 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 All right, hello. Hey, is, is it, do we do it? Wow. What? That was incredible. <laughs> what what happened? What happened? Was it? <laughs> it was like God was talking. It was like... What happened? It was what like happened? a host of angels, but not the normal kind, like the weird <laughs> fucking ones that are like a, a circles within circles with like baby heads poking out. Okay. Wow. Well, listen, so so I have, I have a very complex audio setup here, and what I did is I just kicked out the power on my audio equipment so it's just so my computer's like what i don't know what i'm even doing right now it's all off <laughs> I, can, I hope someone can give me a clip to that later i want to see that oh <laughs> uh, fuck <laughs> I, 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 well, I it. yeah hold on i'm gonna i just want to hear it, it. I know, me too. <laughs> oh god, like I just blew up my everything. So good. <laughs> 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 
Sort of thing you want to examine too closely. What an what an that's not there's an there's an inscription no. in each of the pots which reads oh, shit. These vessels were made by Welsh craftsmen. We make better castles than you do and our flag has a griffin on it. Whew, okay, I, that fun. is hard to argue with. On each piece on each on 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 there on there's an inscription on each there's an inscription Fuck. I don't- WHAT DO WE EVEN DO?! You hear nothing of interest. Okay, go outside. Uh, I bet you can go leave. This is my theory. My theory is that if we go outside- Bill has a real theory. You can like leave. Real actual I like- I- th this is- this happens in adventure games. Where you run out of interactables. You don't have any okay, verbs. Okay, this happens all the fucking time in adventure games when we play them. And the answer 90% of the time is that there's a room we didn't realize was there. That's true. Can you just leave? Can you leave? So, leave. I mean, yeah. Can you just? Oh. A parked car. Considering. Hot wire it. Do I just die if I go into the room? You walk home. Walk home. <laughs> Step into. It, the it doesn't let me. I'm trapped. <laughs> Bill, help! Okay, uh, help! There's got to be some way that we can get in where the dinosaurs are. Go where the dinosaurs are. Yeah. That's the new name. <clears throat> I just reloaded Did closer to this door. Store yeah. an old save. This is literally my worst Got nightmare. It. Which, uh, getting stuck in an adventure game or being on a Twitch show with? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, being stuck in a high-class party. Back to the rotunda. Oh line. yeah. Yes. Oh Jesus. Can you put on a disguise that makes you look like, uh, like steal the the uh, the more amorous woman's dress and like seduce <laughs> the, the Nazi? Fucking seduce uh, the Nazi. Can you get her to do that? You can. Wait, can I walk can down you, here? Yeah. Can you just can you just uh like conscript somebody to do uh. The fanatically the... happy party. I really regret not having something to eat. Oh God. It looks just like the dagger of Amon Ra. Isn't it beautiful? Can I inspect this? Oh, the dagger Man, shows Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's high degree of craftsmanship. Can you uh? You can't a touch the daggers on display in the plate. locked case. Can you ask it what it says? Is it Don't is, is it. that a replica of the dagger of Amon Ra? You get no response. Yeah, yeah. it's not a replica. Questions it's a are fraternal about... twin. The dagger. The dagger shows Pittsburgh's high. The dag. The dag. The dag. The dag. The dag. The dag. The 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 the. Oh my god! I wish I just need a health potion. Yeah, I just need to have a soundboard with one button, and when I press it, it just plays that clip. The dagger shows Pittsburgh's high. The dagger. 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 The, it seems like the only way I could possibly get any deeper in here is if, like, I got... Don't touch it. 
You can all What what is this? You can almost feel the low level of excitement in the How about I just drink water until I drown? <laughs> Do you think that's the solution? <laughs> all right. Uh okay. All right, guys. What help? Um, what if you try eating the turkey leg? And then take the bone, the turkey leg bone, and take it in the other room, and the guy will be like, be Ah, too! A bone! The food, 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 don't be greedy. the food, and the cover. Try going inside the pharaoh's chin. You hear nothing of I mean, you it hear, does you seem hear, like there's hear, a lot of you, space you hear inside nothing. You hear Try listening the through the door shit. to the back room with your cup. Try listening to the door in the front room with your cup. Why would you try listening to anything with your cup? Because it's the only thing we have that I'm not sure we've used. You hear nothing. You hear you hear you hear you hear you hear you hear you have nothing. Uh, Try going outside and like walking to the right or some shit. It doesn't let me go anywhere. Ah, oh, go to the right, Laura. Oh. Uh. I mean, given that we've been in this room the for the whole champagne look good, show, but... Sean Bouchard, do you think we should, you know, pray to the gods of knowing psychic answers? The to... gods of knowing. It's, um... Uh, Ooh, holy hands, look at this. Who the fuck you is... Can Wait, are those two guys playing Ring Around the Rosie? Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, two-person Ring Around the Rosie? The rug... The rug is not... The rug is... The rug is not... The rug... The rug... The rug... Hmm... Pixel hunting at its finest. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Don't touch, don't, don't, don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch. Don't touch. How many times do I have to tell you not to fucking touch it? Don't touch. Stop it, stop it right now! Upon close inspection, you see nothing new here. The dagger. Is there is like is there an actual like is one of the daggers different or something? Um, listen, I know this is the kind dagger of a, shows a, a high degree of craftsmanship. But, um... The dagger shows a high degree of craftsmanship. The dagger. This this is different. What the hell was that? What did you do? What did you do? Did you make time Hi. pass? This gift shop is closed. You should not be here. What the hell did oh, you just I'm do? Sorry. The door was unlocked. Unlocked? My assistant will be disciplined harshly for this mistake. Please rejoin the party now. I will be forced to injure okay, you. Okay, that one I think was was a different dagger because it looked different. It did? It yeah, did? yeah, because the other, the other one said Pittsburgh on the blade. This didn't say nothing on there, man. What way? It didn't say Pittsburgh on it. So does that mean that that's the real dagger? Uh... Would you really hide a what? dagger in... What? Thunder throw line. The rest of the museum is off limits. And you are spooking their mastodons. What? What if your name was Rotunda? What if your name was Rotunda? I mean, imagine in middle school. Like... That would be terrible. That'd be bad. It would be really bad. It's a lot, uh, 
It's a it's a heavy weight to bear, but I think you'd grow into it. <laughs> Do you, I mean, ultimately, would you be better for that? Would you like? Would you would you oh, rise wait, above wait. it? Is it locked? And there's someone on the other side that I can listen to with my glass. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's just unlocked. It's gone. Literally it's gone. The dagger's gone. The dagger's gone. What's gone? The dagger. The dagger's gone. Is it really? Like, this how case can you tell? Beautiful museum replicas. That's not the sort of thing you want. You fucking kidding me? See, look. The dagger. Wh why can my character not notice what I'm noticing? Look, uh, it's aren't an everything. Game. Ow. Okay. It's all fucking. So we know it. that the the proto Nazi has the dagger. Yeah, yeah, the guy who was always talking about Dr. Jones. What year is this? 1920-something? So, yeah, proto-Nazi. Oh, um, shh. Where do, we, where do we go to make anything happen? I'm gonna go outside. Maybe, maybe there's some people outside. Can we call... Is it okay if I call the uh, Sierra hint line? Oh! Yeah, oh! Them. Oh! Look at those yeah! Boots. Yeah, we did... Oh, hey, shit! You hey, did hey, a what's going on, Bo? Oh, Mr. Dorian. That's right. We met at the docks. <laughs> oh dear, your shoes—they aren't exactly formal. Oh, well, Alexander wore his boots that. to the party. But not right now. <laughs> shoes I see. aren't exactly well, formal. Okay. What brings you here? I can explain that, but not right now. You. No. Oh, me. I told me you'd be here tonight, and, well, I thought we should talk. Jesus. Oh? About what? Um, could we step outside for a minute? The moonlight is very <laughs> nice tonight. He's got, he's got a clue. Well, we are able right. to step outside. I think I'd enjoy that. Do you want to go outside? <laughs> That man's giving me an unrealistic expectation of my own voice. Yeah. Why is that bush vomiting? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Was that a non sequitur? I feel like that was. I just wanted Jesus. to explain to you. Oh, Jesus! Oh, shit. Really am. You're not Steve Dorian? Uh, is this. Well, yes, I am Steve Dorian. But is I felt like I didn't province? give you the most accurate impression of myself when I met you earlier today. But you do impressions of yourself? Gee willikers, I'm just not used to meeting attractive young ladies on the docks. Oh no. If he I had anything but a deep voice, a he would be a total cuck I'm right a now. Professional journalist. Oh, I just didn't know why it's not. I gave you the wrong impression! Well, uh. well, yes, of course you are. I didn't mean to imply anything. In fact, I was very impressed with your professionalism. And with your smile. I just didn't want you to think I'm a common stevedore. Well, I'll admit I was wondering what a stevedore was doing at this ritzy museum fundraiser. My stevedore job pays the bills, but I'm aiming for a career as an artist. However, I'm really here because... I'd hate myself for the rest of my life if I didn't try to see you again. Jesus Christ! A little, little, little creepy. Different. little extra but creepy. I was going to commit suicide if I didn't see you again. That's much. Oh my I god, this is ready. way too much pressure. Are you always this nervous? I'm no. not very good with women. I, I spent all my time <laughs> working ever since I was ten years old, when my father died. I've never had a chance spent to date my, my life much. looking? Lately, I've spent my free time working. going to school. Okay. I'm starting to think we're more alike than I first thought. My mother died when I was very young, so I was raised by my father. What kind of an artist are you? I'm a painter. I'm feeling some red flags right now. Are you guys feeling some red flags? How? When, how, how soon until but he asks her to pose for no him? Enough, not Can we talk about how elongated his, his right arm body. is? Oh, I said I'd explain that, didn't I? I was hoping nobody would notice. I can't tell exactly I had to goes. blow two weeks' pay to rent this tux. Way. But I didn't have enough left over to rent What's the fancy shoes. What's this mist noise? It's just that 
I had to see you again. You spent all your money just to see me? I, I can't My hear goodness. over the... Oh, the incoming transmissions. I don't know what to <laughs> say. Now you don't Dr. have Dr. any money. Say you'll have dinner with me some evening. I, I may seem a little odd. I'm broke. We'd have to I'm eat homeless. my shoes. <laughs> I'd be honored to spend an evening with you and show you the sights around town. <laughs> I don't know about well, this guy. I don't usually, but you've gone to a lot of trouble to find me. I think I can trust you. No. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that was definitely scare quotes around memorable that. Memorable evening. Wow. I'll paint for you. I'll dance for you. I'll, I'll sing for you. Anything dance you want. Well, I never asked you no to dance to for me. Carried away. Let's see how dinner goes first. Of course, you're absolutely right. Uh, I don't seem too anxious, do I? I don't. Maybe you don't see weird. my erection, do okay. you? Okay. I'll take a deep breath and calm down. I'll be fine. I'll do whatever you want. I think this is the beginning of something important, Steve. I like you already. Uh... No, <laughs> oh, no! Let's go back what? to the party, Steve. What? I've got work to do. Oh my god! No, you, you just met him! He spent all his money going to the museum to just chase you and you just kissed him and said it was going to be special? Oh, it's never this worked that way. Real, he, this guy is real creepy X material. Is what this guy is. I'm trying to physically recreate how she was positioned for that kiss. Elbows in front of his chest, and somehow she was reached the head around that to kiss him. That was so weird. It's it's like there's like, a side uh, hug, and then there's like a side way. kiss. That was a side kiss. It was like, all right, I, yeah. all right, hey. <laughs> Holy shit, and with a walk animation like that, man, with his Uggs shooting off to the right of the museum. I mean, he's if he's not here, I don't know where he is. <laughs> Alright, now, guys, if I... Go, Laura, go. Go, 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 Scene. Oh wait, wait! Is this got, the thing? Uh, is this is the the woman who made Gabriel Knight, right? So she, she wrote that article about how it's it's okay to put sexy sexy hunks in your game. Uh, Roberta Williams. Yeah. No, Did I'm thinking of Gabriel Jane. Knight? No. Who? Oh, Jane. Yeah, yeah, Listen. Yeah, Jane. Um. Oh shit, Jane. Jensen. Uh, 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 yeah, Jane Jensen. Let me. Let me. There, she, there, there. Do, she did, um... No, you're right, Gabriel Knight. You're totally right. Gabriel. Yeah. Okay, I want to I wanna share a thought. Something unusually positive just happened. If I know writing an old-school adventure, something horrible is about to happen. So let's see what, what goes down. Yeah, um, do you have any idea what it was that precipitated like that forward progress in the game uh, uh it was that dagger it was that i looked at the dagger and i think that that was the dagger of amun ra because it didn't say made in pittsburgh and then the next thing that i did was i went to the entrance area but you didn't know that it didn't say made in pittsburgh did you like, yeah i, I saw it that's why i was like oh my gosh i don't know i just kept clicking on shit why isn't the kaiser here anymore listen um bill this is yeah. A, Jane Jensen was not a writer of this. She was a voice actor in the Dagger Hamon Ra. Uh, I see. So it's like the BBC. They're all just all over everyone's projects. Uh, and she also did EcoQuest: The Search for Cetus, which I remember uh -huh. EcoQuest. Like I was super into Eco EcoQuest when I was a kid. Guys, guys, we, we have new areas to explore. EcoQuest. Oh god. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's a bone. A sign on this dinosaur bone display says please touch. Either these bones feel lonely, or the museum wants you to learn more about the bones by coming into close personal contact with them. Uh, did, did I know. write this? 
Oh, I'm gonna make you pick it up and I, I place no it in your purse. About this entire series of dialogue. Why can I not save anymore? Yeah, look at the fucking. Look at the the. That is the most expressive character so it, far. It's in a this fucking game. Rex. His name is Rex. Isn't that clever? <laughs> It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rex. What's the opposite of clever, Rex. guys? Isn't that clever? A fine painting of a mighty Brontosaurus, the Thunder Lizard. This huge creature with its tiny brain is currently the subject of a controversy. Dr. Earl Douglas from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History believes that current Brontosaurus displays have the wrong heads mounted on their skeletons. However, Dr. Othniel Marsh, who originally discovered the Brontosaurus, believes that the heads on current displays are correct. Only time and more fossil evidence will conclusively prove which of these esteemed gentlemen is correct. Is Everyone take a drink. You, you learned the shit out of something. It doesn't matter if a it's true or not. Right? identifies this dinosaur as an iguanodon, <clears throat> which means iguanatooth. However, from the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex's point of view, this dinosaur could be identified as dinner. No, T Rex didn't hunt. <laughs> T Rex didn't hunt, you he guys. Was a they carry him. Okay, but they didn't know that in 1992. The sign says, push button to hear Rex speak. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my god. Oh, uh, 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 dinosaur display. <laughs> oh my shit. My name is Rex. And I'd like to tell you about. And I work at the docks. <laughs> I'm a type of dinosaur known as Tyrannosaurus Rex, which means Great. king of the tyrant lizards. I hope I'm not Although moving too fast. I couldn't afford new shoes with my I was the largest predator ever to walk the earth. Some I of spent my all of my money to be here with you tonight. Long and weighed eight tons, with teeth that were six inches long. Your modern elephants don't weigh more than six tons. <laughs> Fuck I lived your elephants. Between 250 <laughs> and 65 million years ago, during a period known as the Age of Dinosaurs, <laughs> also called the Mesozoic Era. The first complete skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was found just 24 years ago. In Montana, in 1902. This is long. This is... You learned something. Yeah, this is right. long. Look, the important thing is that everyone has permission to drink. <laughs> okay, wait. Where am I going? I have, I have questions about the history that I learned if dinosaurs speak English. What? The, what, the, what the fuck is going on in this game right now? It's just showing me the hand. Where did my controls... Where'd you go, Laura? I have an important Stop. question, she... guys, because yeah. I don't think I was there for the first Gabriel Knight uh, video stream. Which yeah. Gabriel Knight play game did we play? Was it the first one? Oh, yeah, original. yeah, it was Gabriel Knight and the um, Sins of the Fathers or some shit. Oh, fuck. That is a poorly arranged room of armor. The suit of armor is empty. Look at the dog! Armor of Anne de Montmorency, Constable of France. Worn at the Battle of San Quentin on August 10, 1577. Those guys then, were clearly walking around and froze as soon as you walked in. A house pet, tastefully prepared for battle in 16th century armor. Damn. A house pet prepared for An empty battle? chest from the 15th century. Although the carvings on the exterior are crude, cut into the wood by someone with little talent or ability for wood carving, the chest now resides in a museum, simply because it's old. Shit! I <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing oh diss on museums. What? Oh, it's future this world racket ball. This is a life mask exhibit. You haven't seen this many dead-looking, expressionless faces since your accounting class at the university. <laughs> Oh my God. It's the head of a crow manion man. My, how people have changed. For three! This is the life mask exhibit. You haven't seen this many dead looking express. On. Ah! It's on fire! Alright, 
Let me, let me just start touching faces. You gently palpate the room, and the diagnosis is normal. You palpate the room! Boom! Pal pal palpate the room! Oh my god, there's so much- there's so much content over here! Go, go. Go to the- Why? Jesus. Can oh. you steal a weapon off of these medieval knights? Probably. You pick I it up! I feel like they're probably carrying- place it in your purse. Oh, shit, I'm in a hall. We got some pip. The, the door is locked. Oh, I got a glass! I got a glass, wait! Oh, and I... You hear nothing of interest. That's good. It'd be pretty rad if someone murdered someone and hid their body in the suit of armor. <laughs> pretty oh. Pretty rad! It looks remarkably like a glass case in the shape of a pyramid. <laughs> a small card informs you that this case contained the famous Dagger of Amon Ra, which is now missing. It's Does just the card inform you of that? Oh, oh you fucked up! Oh, congratulations! Shit. You've cracked the case of the Dagger of Amon Ra. Oh, brutal rest! That's incredibly <laughs> self own, self own. <laughs> okay. This is a magnified part of the ancient Egypt oh, exhibit. My God. Upon close inspection, you see nothing new here. I mean, that's because it's a museum. So, can you <laughs> win the game if you just go to the other room and put the dagger there? Oh, look at this. Ironically, there's a gold Ankh medallion, the ancient Egyptian symbol of life, resting in the pool of blood. It's like rain on your wedding day. <laughs> what? It's like an Apparently, the shoe's owner stepped in, a pool in some of, of blood. blood. It apparently belongs to a dainty <laughs> foot. Oh, oh, Dainty oh, listen, listen, blood. listen to this. Apparently the shoe's owner stepped in some of the blood. Dainty foot. It apparently belongs to a dainty foot. All right. So it's probably the guy with the really deep voice. Don't touch that foot. He's got feet. petite You could feet. smear it and ruin You don't know where it's been. You pick it up Obviously. and place it in your purse. The blood? Um, Laura. Um... I oh! What? Dead. Is that a- is this a- Can you take the dagger? That sounded like a game over screen, but it's it not, feels like it's, it's not a game over screen. Talk to him. Dr. Carter's flesh is looking rather pale, as if he's not feeling well. Perhaps it's because he's lost a lot of blood. Jesus Christ. She said that a little a little too seductively. Yeah, narrators. Pippin has a flower in his lapel, but it looks quite innocent. It feels fake. A bit of water trickles out from the center of the flower. What? Why are you, you feeling the dead man's the flower? It's evidence, and you don't know where it's been. <laughs> a close look at the dagger reveals the words Made in Pittsburgh, stamped on the part of the blade that is not buried in Pippin Carter's chest. To your wow. naked eye, the rough surface oh, of the shit. dagger handle doesn't appear to hold any fingerprints, but that's something for the coroner to examine in detail. No cavities in his teeth. The tongue is arched as if to say, you're not sure if the gaping yeah, mouth means he was face. trying to scream, or that rigor mortis is setting in, stretching his face muscles. However, he has only been here a short time. Pippin isn't breathing, but you detect the smell of garlic on his breath. It isn't a pleasant smell. Wait, how can you detect the smell of garlic there on someone's no breath if they're not breathing? bruises on his flesh. That's a good This could question. mean that That's the murderer... Assuming this wasn't a suicide, knew Dr. Carter well enough to get close and stab him without arousing I'm any suspicion. I'm amazed at the amount of clues when I'm just or searching random just parts of the body. Dr. Carter was completely taken by surprise when someone assaulted him from the shadows. I mean, 
What about that woman who kept blood, making romantic plans with everyone at the same a close time? Look and sniff at the stain makes you think that it's grape juice. The bulge on one side is ruining the carefully tailored lines of the tuxedo. What? Excuse me? The jacket is free of blood, but there is a bluish stain on one lapel. This what, is a bulge? Clearly not when you reach in into blood. Pippin's tuxedo jacket, the you'll find a notepad in his inner pocket. Holy shit. To do. Get stabbed. Check. Unreadable words are imprinted on the paper. Unreadable Dude. words? Okay, can I, I just want to take a moment to appreciate that, like, I have searched every single object on his body. I just clicked on his, his jacket, and it's like, there seems to be a bulge. Like, this is actually amazing amounts of shit. This is so cool. No! You pick it up and I, place it in your purse. It's crazy. Like, you were able to inspect his teeth the jacket is as a separate object. Yeah. From the smell of the dance maybe stain, Laura Bo is it appears like, that Dr. Carter maybe was her deal quite is just surprised by the phenomenal study. at um, corpseography. Studying the maybe her deal the is that wound, she doesn't understand the concept of death. It's safe to conclude that the blood on the vest is coming out of the wound on Pippin's chest. <laughs> this is like a real puzzle to her. You see nothing new it's here. like, why isn't he moving? Why is he leaking? She has no empathy. No. Laura <laughs> is a potential serial killer. Okay, ah, the dude. flesh clock strikes three. <laughs> oh, you scream God. like a banshee, lass. Did you kill the man then? No. No. I Wait, what the fuck? Just walked in here and Did found you him. You don't him? scream I when you kill that someone. Would explain your screaming. I mean, then. not usually. Did you see the murderer? No. All right. I'll talk to you later. Why is he wearing so much makeup? Down. Just don't try to leave the building. Stuck forever oh. at a party function. Did you lose? Act Did. three. Act three. The party continues. Excellent work. Your father would be proud of you. Having already interrogated the guests, Detective O'Reilly is now discussing the murder with the staff members as they leave the party. It would be best if you don't interfere. Don't... don't interfere... Okay, so it's 10 p.m. Interfere? I hardly know her. When I was at work, I wrote down the current time on the whiteboard, and I think it was 7 p.m.? Like, it was it was 8.15 before, um, when we discovered the body. Hi, Miss Bow. I'm Ernie Leach. Dr. Carrington told me you could stay a while and talk to the staff. I've got to lock the door, so just come and find me when you're ready to leave. Dr. Why are we in silhouette? Key, but you don't want to bother him about that. Thank you. Why Mr. are we Lynch? looking upward? Just be careful. Why are we you turned go. back? <coughs> Wolf will get upset if he finds you downstairs. See you later. What's his job? I think he's the exposition manager. Did you manage to learn anything from the <laughs> interviews, Detective O'Reilly? <laughs> Don't bother your little head about its last. <coughs> it's my job, sir. Seriously though, who signed off on the face portrait of the of the detective? Be interfering. Who Boy, signed off on the face portrait interfere. of the pharaoh? I just want to know what's going on. Any lead so far? Doctor Carter died as the result of someone sticking Those a eyes. ketchup dagger in his chest. <laughs> what more do you need to know? <laughs> Well, for one thing, <coughs> who did it? Why would you steal the real someone dagger only to stab someone with a gift shop dagger? I don't get Brilliant it. Brilliant deduction. If you think Damn. that you can do better, I can try. Oh, wunderbar! Now we've got the amateurs involved. I may not be a detective, but I'm terribly clever. I've solved murders before. <sighs> I'm terrible. Stay out of me, way, I, lass. I get it. I get it. Evidence. This is the second game in this series. I'm disappointingly clever. Hmm. Like probably yeah. she has self murder before. We yeah. should probably take her word for it. You don't think she's just a big, big fish from a small pond? 
she solved the murder like in Alabama. Yeah. And that's filmed in New York, and it's like. Yeah, it's the big it's apple. All those kind of murders. Big murder do, city. Do, they do, have do, so do, many murders do, do. every night here. They's got's murders. They have a twenty-four hour murder this cycle. This door is locked. Hit it with the, hit it with the cup. Let's cup it. Cup it. Cup it. Cup it. You hear hard. nothing of interest. Okay. <laughs> Play the ocarina of time. medallion with a bit of blood on it. it storms. Ankh medallion. Ankh medallion. I'm... A notepad made of good quality paper. There's an imprint on the paper from the previous message written on the pad, but it's too faint to read. We need we need charcoal. Charcoal. You need a crayon. Unreadable no. words are imprinted on the. You see the. You know, I'd like to see an unreadable word. On the back of the Ankh medallion. P.S. Pippin Sinker Snatcher. What was his name? Pippin Sinker Snatcher. I think her, his name was Sinker Snatcher. While this is, while, while this is open, open it up. Okay. Dude, by the way, what I, can I, you just, tell I got about I, New York City. I got, I got to show this. Like, I took my contact out because my eye was feeling dry. But the problem is that only one eye focuses. So when I want to read, you're gonna look and you're gonna see that as I focus, my eyes cross. And I didn't know that I was doing this for a long time. Like, it, my eyes should be crossed, like, a little bit right now. I don't know. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and it's if good. I... That's really good. If I relax it, why, I don't have to read. It's why okay. Why do your why. eyes focus when you... Why, why do your eyes cross when you focus? Well, because I don't have a contact in this one, and I'm almost blind without my contact, so, like... But you have one, you have one contact in? Uh, I only need... Okay, so I have LASIK in this eye, and I just need to go get LASIK in the other eye. So, because my vision why? is... So, why did you get LASIK in one eye? My vision's so bad, they would only allow me to do one eye at a time. Shit. Oh, wow. Yeah. Rash. Um, so... So I did the one eye, and I just haven't gone back and gotten the other eye, so I have one contact in, so that one contact was feeling a little dry. And now I get, I'm an eye-crossy guy. So I'm gonna, as I read these, if any of you see me crossing eye my crossy eyes... Guy. Oh, it was PS, not PC. Dr. Tutsmith. Take that poison dagger. You know it's a bummer, you guys? Well, I had a hearing. That? I had gotten a little, like... I heard about this! Hearing. I saw your Twitter. And, um, Twitter yeah, post. it was just like a little bead, and a metal bead, and then, um, it fell oh. out. The earring fell out, like they sometimes mm -hmm. might do. Although I looked later, and it is—it was a threaded screw-on earring, so someone yeah, how does it screwed on tight enough? But um, somebody unscrewed it. Is that what you're saying? The... <laughs> no, I think so. Yes. Like this is a there is yes, there a... someone a perpetrator. <laughs> Some a perpetrator, perpetrator unscrewed uh, earring. There's a, There's a villain known as the unscrewer. <laughs> a particular <laughs> individual did enter the premises, and that individual did unscrew. Uh, that that. That particular individual did unscrew the bead. Fuck. Good evening, Countess. But, um... Good evening, Miss Bo. It was out for 24 hours, which is long enough that it's too late. They just have to wait for it to heal again and re-pierce it. Which is a bummer. Oh, shit. No. I know. Okay, so I'm just gonna start asking about people. It's because he's, like, he going off stage. He was a rather good-looking fellow, don't you think? Of course, I was at the party when he died. Surrounded by witnesses, but I've already told Mr. O'Reilly about all that. She's trying to make an escape by riding that dead mastodon. So I'm gonna ask her about all the people. <laughs> oh shit. Dr. Carrington, I. What about him? I know very little about the man. Now that's odd. I could have sworn Mr. Dorian said that you met Dr. Carrington in a taxi when he arrived on the Andrea Doria. Yes, so what if I did? I mean, I mean, yes, I did meet him that night. She's lying. Our families are, uh, old allies. She from does the time sound of the like she's roses. lying. I felt obliged to meet him upon his arrival. Noblesse oblige, you understand. I, hold on, I missed the part where why is she in this room where you're not supposed to be? I think none of us because... are allowed to leave. 
Mastodon! Well, to tell you the truth, dear girl, I find him to be a crude, uncultured ruffian. Who, the dead guy? Fuck, don't leave. Don't you leave. Ziggy played guitar. He seems a perfectly dreadful little fellow. Let's not discuss him. Are you? She's giving you quite a bit of potty language that says, I'm leaving the room. What yeah. a lovely boy. <laughs> he has such charming Tell me manners, about singing! So are you, mm -hmm. Wait, are you only able to engage with dialogue with her because of your StarCraft-toned mouse reflexes? Yes, now that I have a new mouse. And your new mouse. Wait, who's <laughs> your new mouse? Who's who's Steve Dorian? Steve Dorian's I, your boyfriend. He's no, your fiance. Steve, oh, he's yeah, my boyfriend. The, uh, the the kiss, he spent all his money to hang out with you, so now you have to be his fiance. Worker. Yeah, we're gonna eat his shoes later at dinner, and then he'll dance for he's, us. I think that's what the story he's the goes. Nice, he's he's Captain Nice Guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's a male feminist. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll even dance for you if that's what you want. I just, Jesus. Oh, that's so good. Oh, he really wants to support you. Simply dreadful. I think his tiny taste of authority has gone to his little head. Don't you, Miss Bo? Who's Wolf Hama? If you want to be my lover, okay, you got to so get with Joe Fat. Sam Augustini. I don't remember who that is. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him, but he sounds simply charming. I imagine a man who runs a newspaper must- Oh, it's a newspaper person. Okay, so, newspaper person is the guy who got killed. Archibald Carrington the is is the uh, chubby- Wait, a newspaper mustache. person got killed? No, no, that's just, he's that the, this is the editor. That's just the editor of the Tribune. Editor or editor-in-chief. Yeah, and so, Pippin is the person who was killed. Archibald is the um, big chunky guy who's like, oh, yes, I would love to discuss all colleges sometime. Uh, Detective O'Reilly is the Scottish person. Crowdfaller oh, and low fat and John Bow don't matter. Ziggy is the absolute monster creep. Steve Dorian is super low voice. Uh, I don't remember who Wolf Heimlich is. I don't Wolf remember. Heimlich, I think, is a half eaten deer. Oh, wait, is Wolf Heimlich the guy, the guy who talked with a lift like this? I think that's that, and then Yvette Delacroix is. I am not interested in discussing that little trollop. I mean, it would be pretty fun to be the trollop of the archaeology society. That would be pretty funny. That would be a good like way to spend a summer. Like archaeology trollop. Like to be the hoe, you know. My it's my like mom, like that would be a really good way to spend is, you know one summer of your life. That would be really funny. I, know, I, I I I tend to agree. Okay, so let, let's let, let's get this straight. We we asked her about all these people. Uh, she seemed she wasn't a fan of this guy, but she was dodgy about Archibald Carrington. We know that. Like oh, I, I wish we had everyone else was charming. Gun. I wish I wish the game well, mechanic. I, I wish the thing was the we had a gun with one function. bullet in it, and He's we had to just kill properly. who we thought was the murderer. That would be it. That, that would be good. That would be great. Like, I, I think all adventure games need to have a gun and a hammer in the inventory to begin with. Because yeah. you can you can solve most things with hammer or gun. I think also, um, as long as we're doing an inventory, we should put a boomerang in it, like in Zelda. Because it's always fun. If she's walking I... way too fast, I throw it and she gets done for a few seconds so I can ask her more questions. <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh, what so the? Where the fuck? In... Oh, Jesus, it's... It's a new room with the lady in it again. The the um. There she goes. The there gun. She goes again. The gun is an element in Blade Runner in the Blade Runner adventure game. Yeah. Uh, you start with a gun, and at any point, I think it's this not necessary to ever pull your gun, but yeah. you can always just like what? unholster your gun, and then people react to you as though you were carrying a loaded weapon. That's interesting. Thank that's you for coming to probably see how they should. Yeah. Oh, this oh. Is very nice it does seem like that's how people I cut the door. You're you. very welcome, my dear. What the fuck is that? What can I do for you? Oh, you see, I found this strange bone, and I said to myself, Yvette, if anyone can tell you what this is, it would be Olympia. <laughs> A bone, you say? Strange. How fascinating. <laughs> Where did you find it? Laura Bow in the case of I the strange bone. I found it right bone. here in the museum. Here it is, Doctor. 
Now, let me see. <laughs> if that you silly girl. It's a funny it's a bone. Chicken bone. It is? Oh, yes, man. of course. For it is still greasy. You got this at dinner, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you have caught me, Olympia. I was playing the little joke on you. Um, <laughs> you are a funny what? girl, Livet. But I am quite fond of you. Oh my god. I'm Olympia, we this. are the good friends, no? I have a problem I wish to talk to you about. Uh-oh. Oh, certainly. What is it? Come closer so I can whisper it to you. Oh, it shit. Is, is she gonna personal, kill her? And I want no one to overhear. I think she's gonna kill her or oh, kiss my. her. Or both. Yeah, or both. Oh, Possibly both. My. Um, oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my could sort of be a response oh. to either one. You don't hear anything. You don't oh. hear anything. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, the foreground. giant lizards are displaying some rather uncivilized behavior. Oh, it's a literal snake! Sorry. What's this? Like a it's living Bonnie. snake? Olympia's oh, pet shit. cobra. Okay, Look we're, at that we're fucking we're, insert. Look how I mean, high up those skeletons are on the right. Wait, why can't I save in here? I'm going out here and I'm saving. I don't know any other game that uses inserts the way that this game does. It's pretty radical. Oh shit, fuck. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Good evening, Miss Bo. What was that? Oh, you startled me. What was it? Good. It gets the blood flowing. Well, if it yes. isn't Magdalena Strangebone. Well, I suppose so. I see you're looking at my snake oil. Oh, well, I was just looking around. I'm sure you meant no harm. What's the snake oil for, anyway? Snakes. It you have a snake of course. named oil? It comes in handy when I'm working in the basement. <laughs> I lost a load of Egyptian cobras down there a few weeks ago, and I occasionally come across one of those little darlings. How do you get those snake oil? Do you just squeeze them from me, the bottom up? But I'm like sure they don't mean anything by it. It's just their way. Like a, they like get a toothpaste. nervous very easily, you exactly. know. Normally, I love to watch them kill things. My Barney will kill anything he can sink his teeth into. That's what I wanted to say. Charming. His name is Barney? I'd like to chat yeah. some more, but I've got to rush off and meet that young Steve fellow. He everybody's to getting with his everybody guys. tonight. See, everybody's later. getting with Steve! Everybody's getting with Steve! Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted this thing to hook up with Olympia. I mean, the thing is, like, if Steve Feels does try like to have an, an illicit affair unit. with someone, you're just gonna hear. It's gonna just echo it through the halls like um, the whale songs. Because oh. Steve is ex extremely loud. He's just. Oh look. Oh my is that God. Hieroglyphics? Ah, yeah, leaf dot box bird slash dot spin. Oh, frowny noose, owl bird. Bell wing Please wing dot moon, frowny noose. Wait, if there's four symbols, it's probably genetic. Oh, good point. <laughs> oh, Jesus, is that why it's called Gattaca? Gattaca. why it's called Gattaca. Holy so it could shit! Have been shit! Add a good guy, good guy. It could have been called Add a good guy. I just Add a good guy, good guy. Oh my God! Gattaca is a DNA sequence, everyone. What is uh, what is the phenotype expressed by the gen DNA sequence Gattaca? You can never. I feel like that's the question that we haven't answered. There's an array of rare cockroaches in the display case. Rare cockroaches, just the way I like them. There must be at least forty varieties of cockroach in the display. Cockroach. There must be at least it thirty-five like real types mahogany. of cockroach in the rotunda. Mahogany. We need some sort of translation. The skull is amazingly well preserved. What kind of skull is it? The Jersey Devil? 
What? Oh, shit! Well done, Sean. What the fuck? Yes, well done. You're eaten by a Gru. In the darkness of the secret passage, your blind is a bat. You have a brave but brief battle during which you endure the battering of the berserk and bellicose black bats without batting an eye. Then your body, bothered by the bloody bites, becomes bereft of life. Someone enjoyed bees. Bees? This is exactly the kind of thing that seems like, like a joke, but isn't actually like a legitimate joke. The yeah. Sierra... Sierra likes to really do in its um in its in its fatal fatalities. Wow. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It it just it took till nine fifty one. Oh my god. That is great. That is <laughs> There you go. There you go. Dude, son. you know like 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 yeah. Dying is supposed to be joyful in Sierra games, and it, it isn't. It's not <laughs> joyful. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, Sean, this I didn't is... know that actually happened. I thought this I didn't know was that like... actually happened. This was only in, like, comics. <laughs> wow. This... wow. For context, for context <laughs> now, Sean, you usually stream from work. Or you have to drive home, but tonight you're streaming from like your actual bedroom. Correct. Yes. So yeah, because it's Martin Luther King Day, so you don't have to go to work. The yeah. distance. So the distance to your bed is is uh, is two steps. Uh, rel relatively short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Wow. The thing is well that done. like like I, I I would have assumed you had had no alcohol at all. <laughs> Until, like, after you I mean, you tripped on your words for a moment there, and I would have just been like, "Oh, guy trips on his words." Like, if I'm tired, I like, I, I, I'm super groggy. I uh, should tie this. Like, but and if you just moved past it, I would have been like, "Oh, he's tired." But instead, you go, <gasps> and Bill and I were like, "He had the alcohol. I saw him. He had the two bottles and the two cups. There it is." He's had the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, my eyes crossed. I'm like, you what are, are you? drunk. <laughs> <laughs> We're in no condition. We are in no condition for. I'm games. in no condition. I'm in no condition for any. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was really good. Well, I, I think that's a really good spot to end on. Uh, we'll probably have to replay it a little bit, which will be like a good reminder. Um, of where we were. And let me actually see if I can open up that clip again, because that was really great. Yeah, there it is. Thoughtful <laughs> eggplant bee couch. What does oh, that mean? Fuck. Guys, can you... Oh, it's God. Like I just blew up my everything. Alright, we... Can I hear anything? Wait, you it's can't silent. hear it? No, I can't hear it. Silently oh, because I closed the zoom and you can't hear it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So it's on the stream. I can imagine it. I know what it sounds like. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so harsh. It. Yeah. So, it. Dude. Two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I could probably figure out a way to re-loop it here in a moment. Let me actually just... Uh, can I create a new audio repeater? Alright, so if we... <laughs> let me see if I can loop... Um, let's see, it's going from line 5. Oh, this this might hurt everyone's ears a lot. Let me try this. Let me take the full line and loop it back to the initial line. Yeah, does this, yeah, does this, yeah, does this, yeah, does this, yeah, 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 yeah,
You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna open the Zoom. Maybe I should Let's just go read. for another hour. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, so far, I'm I'm really enjoying this game. This has been really great. Me too. Me too. I think it's good. I think uh, I think Laura Bo is providing. Um, I have a question, Sean, or I have an answer. All right, I'll find the question. Why do they to call it. them that? And the answer is, uh, I found out why they call them scabs. Because you're always picketing them, pick, pick, picketing, picking, picket, picketing. You pick it. You pick it. You pick them. You pick them. They're called pick scabs it. because you pick, you pick them. Get it? Yeah. No. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> what? I don't think I understood the beginning, middle, it's and a, end of the joke. It's a union. We're 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 talking. It's a, it's we're a talking labor about joke. What? How is it about labor joke? They call them scabs because you pick at them. But what? What? Because the only scab I know is dried blood. Is there another kind of scab? There's there, another kind of. Scab. There is. Somebody ancient, ancient seen newsies. A picket line is called a scab. Yeah. What? What? What's also called a scab? Somebody who crosses a picket line. Some somebody who works for a company a that is be, being boycotted during a strike. Oh. Yeah. Now that you know that, you can go back <laughs> now again. That you, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like a, now, now it's, it's like makes sense. yeah, because you, you're, um, you're you're you you're picket you're picketing at him. <laughs> yeah, I mean I and, fucked it up. Like it's, it's a good joke. It's just hard to. <laughs> I really think that my. My inability to comprehend this joke matches with my eyes crossing on and off, with one of them being bloodshot from drying out. Um, this was a good show. This was great. We're actually ending at 9.57. We're just going to close out, and uh, we're playing this next week. We're playing it the week after that, and by God, we're going to play it the next, the next thing. We're going to beat yeah. it. We're gonna solve some kind of a mystery. I'm I'm not sure what the mystery is anymore, but yeah, I think the mystery is who was killed before the credits. Who? Why was the guy killed now? Where is the dagger? And just a lot of open <laughs> questions here. It's not so much a mystery as just random things happening. At yeah. least three crimes have been committed. Yeah, it's who, what, why, and which crime. And I really like that it's one of the few times when I feel very clearly pushed towards listening to what people say and asking people about shit. Like, the notebook has so many options. My inventory is so dry. It's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the show. Yeah. I'm going to close Does this fucking make, show. I don't understand. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? I don't... I, did, I feel like you just made a reference to the notebook and i don't understand it the notebook yeah it's a movie it's about the I notebook in, in in the game you have a notebook where you ask people about things oh that's true yes ryan gosling is not in that <laughs> ryan gosling's in the notebook is that him i he's in blade I, runner 2049 i think so i'm sean plot he might be and i'm ryan gosling and i'm I'm a very drunk Sean Bouchard. Guys, guys, this is funny. Let me see if I can make some music here. Let me let me mute you guys and see if we can do this. Let's make some music. All right, here. Let me... Doot, I gotta play a real song. Oh god, that is just the funniest thing in the entire world. Oh shit, that's hilarious.
Oh. All right. I'm going to play a song. I think I'm going to close all my repeaters real fast. All right. There we go. Bye, guys.